Yo, what is going on guys? It is JD here, back with another 2K video. And today guys, we are jumping into some Pro-Am action. So, as you can see here, this is my player. He's a centre rebounding rim protector. He is 88 overall, if I did all of the upgrades on the screen, as I show there. But there's no real point doing them at the moment, especially to things like 3-point rating. I am never going to be taking a 3-pointer with this guy. But, as you can see, badge-wise... I've actually got five gold badges on this guy. Now, if I do complete everything on this player, he will go up to six Hall of Fame badges, which is crazy. Like, this is one of the best bo uh, best builds for Hall of Fame badges. And they are sick badges as well. We're talking Hall of Fame, Rim Protector, and Defensive Stopper, among other things. So, we're jumping into a Rec Center game today. As you can see, our matchup is 72 rated, so not the best. I was hoping for a pretty beastly game against this guy as you can see he's also one of 15 as well so yeah all in all signs were not looking too good for our man who was a pure stretch for which i didn't actually clock at the time you can see our record there nine and five i've barely played at all but averaging 14 rebounds per game like this build is an absolute machine on the glass so in terms of height weight and wingspan etc we are seven foot two not seven foot three and that was because we did gain about 10 speed just by dropping that one inch so in my mind that was a bit of a no-brainer we are max wingspan and max weight as well everything else is pretty standard and default as we get a nice little assist there to get things going but yes offensively this guy is a little bit of a liability as you can see there we're just getting blocked inside even when we've got people jumping it was the same problem 2k had last year with big men when we'd pump fake we'd get the defender up in the air we'd go up for a layup and they'd still block us which is so frustrating so yeah offensively we are massively limited even if we do get offensive rebounds i mean how did i get that board there i have absolutely no idea but this guy is just so good. The Gold Hustle Rebounder, along with insane rebounding stats. And it's only going to get better as we do go through the caps and make our way up to... I'll probably go to about a 90 rate this year. I won't be trying... I'm not even trying that hard at the moment, specifically to go up in the ranks. I'm not too fast. As long as my guy can do a bit of a job defensively, that is what he is in there for. He's there to protect the rim and crash the glass. And that is exactly what he's doing as you can see by these clips I just pluck everything out of the air and we do have silver break starter which comes in massively handy on some of these deep outlet passes and thankfully in this game our point guard as you can see there finding me on the roll he was actually really good he had really good basketball IQ he actually found me on pretty much all of my open lanes as you can see there again dishing it inside and he didn't jack up any horrible shots really he did take quite a few shots by the end of the game but he was hitting a mad percentage of them, so cannot be mad at him for that. So as you can see here, we've got our takeover badge, which is very nice, as does, I think that's a slasher there. So he was going inside and driving a lot. Uh, it's just kind of a shame. It's better for us if we do have shooters that can be missing a lot, and we can pick up more and more offensive breeze. And that block we just got against us there a few minutes ago, oh, it's just painful, it really is. You can get as many people up in the air as you want. They are still going to be able to block it. But we do get a nice offensive rebound there and straight into a putback slam. So we do really work the glass as we get another offensive rebound. And we just about get it up before the buzzer goes to end half time. And we are absolutely destroying these guys. We have taken 14 more shots than they have. And we were just absolutely running away with this. How I missed that, I have no idea. Pump fake here, and then we still can't even finish that through contact. Big men are just so, so bad inside. You can have a full white bar, you can release it top perfectly, and you still will not hit it, even if there's an undersized defender on you. So it's incredibly frustrating trying to get points, but if you're just going purely for rebounds and to be defensively a bit of a machine, that is exactly what we're going to be good for. But you can see here, we are just towering above everyone and picking up the reason. Thankfully, that guy was way too small to make any sort of contest on our layup. We're going to go inside here, and we do have inside positioning, which is nice. So we do get a little bit of a fancy finish on the acrobatic layup. But yeah, this game in this month for Pro-Am on the Rec Center 
It is a bit of a try-hard sweat fest at the moment because it is the qualification for the 2K E-League. I believe there is the entire month and you've got to get 100 wins and I think you have to have a decent win percentage as well to go with it if you want any sort of chance of qualifying. It's not something I am going to be going for. I'm just going to be playing pro for fun like we did last year and in 2K17. I do really enjoy it. And as we wait until the next month of My Team Unlimited, my team is kind of a bit dead at the moment. There's not really a game mode to play. I mean, Triple Threat is there, but it just is not for me. I've played about 10 games, and I just don't find it that fun. You can't really get into any games, and they don't last long. You can't really get any good streaks or plays going, because obviously there's only three players. So I think in terms of actual full games and full game plays, it's probably going to be on the Pro-Am, where I'm going to be coming for that. As we get some nice hands up defense there, no need to jump and risk a foul. Just put your hands up, they're not going to be powering anything through someone who's seven foot two. We get a nice rebound there, kick it out to the corner, wide open shooter, and he knocks it down. We have got one hell of a stat line going on. 22 points, 17 rebounds, and six assists as we do draw a foul in the last few seconds of this game to pick up a couple more points. Now, shooting wise, I do really struggle on my connection. There's so much latency, the lag is so bad. I think we might brick both of these. No, we don't. We hit the second one. So, our final stat line is going to be 23, 17, and 6. And you can see the stats for our badges there. We get 22,000 points for the game, which isn't too shabby at all. And yeah, that was a bit of a beastly game. The opponents were pretty awful, but you can only beat what is put in front of you. you. Get 10 offensive rebounds. Like, we gave our team so many more possessions, and that was a hell of a lot of fun. So I hope you guys did enjoy this Prime video. If you did enjoy these, be sure to drop a like down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.